Welcome to this math class. My name is Maina, a teacher of mathematics of um, many years. In our lesson today, we want to concentrate on Form 1 work and we are going to look specifically at fractions. And in fractions, we are going to see how you can multiply a fraction by a whole number. Uh, then we'll move on to how to multiply a fraction by another fraction. So let's go to our first example on how to multiply a fraction by another fraction. So I have the example here, uh, our very first one. The instruction is we need to evaluate this we would like to evaluate. We have 3 multiplied by 2 over 15. Now the first thing to do would be to write these 3 in a slightly different way. I've written it as 3 over 1. Well, not very necessary, but I'm writing it that way so that looks like the other fraction here and then when we have it like that we now have the two fractions with the numerator and the denominator numerator and the denominator and then from there we look at the common factor there is a common factor and you see that we can divide here by 3 and here by 3 so that we get 5 and here we get 1. From uh, that point then we need to multiply those numbers that are appearing on the numerator so that we have uh, 1 multiplied by 2 that gives us 2 and then 1 multiplied by 5 and that gives us 5. So we have multiplied our fraction 2 over 15 by 3. Alright, we need to look at uh, another example. So this was example number 1. Example number 2, uh, the instruction is the same one. We are required to evaluate. And for the second example, we are going to have 4 over 17 multiplied by 51 we can do exactly what we did here the 51 we write it like a fraction so that we have 4 over 17 multiplied by 51 over 1 <coughs> and again we look for common factor, we can see uh, there is a common factor here, 17 um, cancels out here, 1, 3 times, 3 multiplied by 17 is 51 and that's why we have divided the way we have and this gives us, or oh, we can look at the numerator, 4, and 3 multiplied, so that gives us 12. And in the denominator, we have 1 times 1, which is just 1. And therefore, the answer to our question there is uh, 12. That's 12. Okay, that's good enough for multiplication of a fraction by a whole number. Let us now see how we can multiply a fraction by another fraction. So we say multiplication of a fraction by another fraction. Want to multiply a fraction by another fraction, there is a gap here, these are two words. 
by another fraction. So we have an example. And the example we have is uh, evaluate, evaluate one, two out of three by nine uh, sixteen. So I have picked on this one again a very simple example. Remember, the, uh, whatever we are doing here might look easy, but for somebody who did not get it. It is still good information. They are able to see where they are getting it wrong. It's a topic in Form 1, the beginning of Form 1, and uh, which looks like a little bit of revision of what was done in primary school. So we look for the, com the, fa the common factor again, and we can see that 2 can divide here once and here eight times. You can divide by two to get one there and eight there. We can also divide by three so that we have one there and we divide by three and we get three. Uh, now we can do what we did up here. Multiply those numbers in each of the fractions that are in the numerator. So we have one times three and we get uh, one times three over 1 times 8 and that gives us 3 over 8. So I'd like us to look at one more example on how we can multiply a fraction by another fraction. So we have a number 2 there and uh, for this one we take 6 over 7 multiplied by 5 over 12. We could as well multiply 6 by 5 to get 30 over 84 and simplify. We can multiply. We can say 6 multiplied by 5 to get 30 and 7 multiplied by 12 to get 84. That will give us 30 over 84 and then we simplify that fraction. But the easier way would be, we divide here by 6 to get 1, and here by 6 to get 2, and then multiply the numbers in the numerator and the numbers in the denominator. And this gives us um, 1 times 5 divided by 7 times 2, and that gives us 5 over 14. So that is how we multiply a fraction by a whole number and how we multiply a fraction by another fraction. We will be going to stop here and we will be moving on from that point. We will get deeper into this topic. We would like to finish the topic by working out examples from past KCSE uh, exam questions, the, the exam that is done after the four years, because paper one is going to contain form one work, and uh, part of that form one work um, is uh, the topic on fractions. So I would like to stop there, but I would like to remind you to subscribe so that as we move deeper into the topic, we are together. Otherwise for me, it's goodbye.